factoring of the miners. And that's where the roots blowers kind of came into effect and how they, how they became invented was this old guy roots designed it to push air inside all the mines so the guys can breathe. Kind of a little interesting story right there. All right, I've already talked a little bit about how blowers work. They force fuel and air into the motor. But let's talk a little bit about displacement. And what a blower does when it's forcing air inside of a motor, it's increasing the displacement of, a, of an engine. And engines like, like this 350 right here, it makes 350 cubic inches of space inside the motor simply because at atmospheric pressure, at any given time, normal atmospheric pressure is 14.7 psi. So right now, there's 14.7 psi of air pushing on our bodies, on everything in here. So when you have something where all the air is taken out of and you open it up, at 14.7 pounds of pressure, air forces itself back in. So just like on a regular carbureted motor, you know, you open up the throttle on a regular carbureted motor, and at 14.7 psi, air will go inside. Okay, well a blower forces air in there, so it increases the, the, the displacement of a motor. And I'm sure you've all heard the term, there's no replacement for displacement. Well, that's how a blower makes its power on a motor. So consider this. If we have a 350 cubic inch motor right here, normally aspirated, and we put a blower on it, and we say we put 14.7 pounds of boost, okay, uh, of pressure forcing into that motor. Well, that's double the atmospheric pressure. That also means it doubles the cubic inch of the motor. That 350 cubic inch motor is now 700 cubic inches. So figure it like this. A no-brainer way to figure out horsepower on a basic performance motor is one horsepower per cubic inch. Of course, we get a lot more than that, but that's just a rule of thumb. If you want just a nice running engine, a 350 horse 350, that's a nice running engine. That's one horsepower per cubic inch. At 700 cubic inches, that's an easy 700 horsepower. So that's how fast and simple and easy a blower can you know, add, add power to a motor like that. So how much horsepower can a blower add? All right, let's think about that. The whole object of the game uh, behind superchargers is boost in pounds per square inch, okay? So it backs up pressure inside the motor. So when the throttles open and the intake valve opens, it forces fuel and air into the cylinder. I mean, the whole key to horsepower is a no-brainer. It's cylinder pressure. The harder that piston gets pushed down, the harder it turns that crank around, that makes power. If it's something's pushing, if you've got a piston coming up and it's just a mild little explosion, it's only pushing the crank around just a little bit. I mean, it's, there's not much pressure pushing on that crank. If we pack the cylinder with fuel and air, when the spark plug lights that baby, bang, it's a big bang, and it really pushes that crank around. It'll pull a lot of weight and a lot of power, uh, and make a lot of power that way. So the object is, the more boost you put on a motor, the more, and the more fuel that you meet with that air, the more power the motor is going to make. Uh, up to a certain point, before you exceed what the engine can handle, and you, you, know, you blow the crank out the bottom of the motor, or you know, break a piston, or blow a head off or something, but you know, everything's got uh, variables and, and tolerances that, that it has to stay in. But the object here is, is boost, okay, in pounds per square inch. But let's think of it like this. How much power does a blower make per pound of boost? Eh, usually around 15 horsepower, sometimes up to 18 horsepower is about average. Um, sometimes you can use a rule of thumb, you know, a general rule of thumb of 15 to 20. So figure you got five pounds of boost, that could be anywhere from about a 75 to 100 horsepower increase on five pounds of boost, just depending on the motor. Um, obviously, if the motor's set up better, um, I mean, they work perfect on stock motors. If you keep four or five pounds of boost, and five PSI is pretty much standard when you buy a blower in a kit, they usually come making about five pounds of, of pressure. And that's about, you can figure probably, you know, 70, 80 horsepower increase on the motor, and at least that much torque. I mean, they really increase the torque of a motor. But you can use that as a rule of thumb per pound of boost of 15 to 20 horsepower in there. On stock motors, they do work okay. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it because the, the, we'll get into this a little bit later. The cam profiles work real good. Uh, small heads tend to flow better. Uh, pressure makes flow, okay? And the whole idea is, is to fill the motor, to flow enough to fill it with fuel and air and make more power. So they work on a stock motor. Well, obviously, if you set the motor up with better flowing heads and a camshaft that's designed a little bit better for a supercharger and to utilize the boost better, obviously, that 15 to 20 horsepower, you're going to be at the 20 horsepower side of it rather than the 15 horsepower side of it. So that kind of gives you an idea of how much power per boost one of these things can make. It just kind of depends on the motor. Um, how do these make boost? All right, well, we said they're, they're forcing fuel and air into the, into the motor. That's, that's determined by the impeller speed or the rotor speed inside of these. And what, what that is is a shaft that goes through here and it's turning one rotor. 
And these drive plates here, there are gears inside here that keep the rotors in time. Because boy, these babies have to be in time because um, any little clearance difference one way or the other, uh, when they do that, you know, if they're off one way, they can bind inside there because the rotors come together and they force air. All right, that's all dictated by crankshaft speed. And you've probably heard of blower drive or underdrive, overdrive, or a one-to-one -one ratio. And what the heck, you know, what does that mean? What that means is, let me, let me start off real simple here. A blower at one-to-one -one means for every revolution of the crankshaft, the rotors in here make one revolution. Okay, and, and let's, let's say this. Let's say the blower has 350 cubic inches of capacity per revolution. Then for each revolution of the, of the crankshaft, it's forcing 350 cubic inches of air into the motor. They don't really rate blowers like that, but what, how we do rate them is by the size, okay, like a 671 or a 471. Those